Good evening, everybody. Hello. We are here at Universal City. Yes, now we're finally trying the dinner. Yes, right? at Cafe Sierra. Mm -hmm. uh, about four months ago, we came here for their brunch buffet. Yes, we did. Yeah, mm -hmm. now we're here for the dinner buffet. Yep, and it's a little bit more expensive, but we're wondering what type of different food, if they have any different mm -hmm. food. So see if you want to come for brunch or for dinner. Right, and uh, Nico and Leslie will be here with us. Yes, they're on their way. Yeah, so uh, can't wait to go inside, yeah. see what they got. Yeah. Thank you. That looks good. And it's lobster thermidor. 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 All right. Perfect. Thank you. That actually looks really good. Look at that there. Okay, this is gonna be my plate right yeah. here. What do you want? Yeah, a little bit of fried rice. Hit me up with that. Fried rice. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay. And some of that roasted duck. Oh. Yeah, roasted duck. It looks good. Get yeah. some gravy here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, this is. This is fish. This is like Sichuan fish, but I'll pass that. It looks spicy. Uh, we have some of the eggplant with tofu. That looks really good. Look at that. It does. Here's the eggplant. Here's uh -huh. the tofu. And of course, some honey walnut shrimp. A couple of those. And some walnuts too? Yep. I'm not driving. Here, and they put the walnuts here on the side. Not roasted or candied though. That's right. okay. okay. And some uh, chow mein. A little bit of noodles. Gotta have some. Yep. I need it. Oh, easy. Though. Don't get nervous, man. Uh, no crab leg for me, but okay. let me have uh, like a hot sticker and the egg roll. A little uh, dim sum. Let me have a, yeah, one chew my, okay. and then the lid uh, one of the other one over there, babe. Get the lid, babe. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Hug out. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's a pretty good dish right there. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, that's a good yep, fresh that's fish, mine. babe. That's a super paella. This looks like delicious. Yeah. So let's go ahead. Let's get some seafood here. Here. Let's get a clam. This is a good one. It's a clam and a mussel. There's chicken in here as well. And I'm gonna get a little bit of rice. Alrighty. As I'm doing sausage. Get a little bit of sausage there. This is a seafood and prime rib buffet. Really good sized prime rib. Here's my first bite. Very good flavored. Oh wow, that's really soft. It's exceptional for a buffet prime rib. And the meat is very tender. It looks to me like a kind of a medium easy cutting. 
they have au jus over there and in their au jus we'll tell you have to have you take a picture of that au jus baby they had all those herbs and spices in that au jus but i poured it on top of my prime rib it's very clean tasting you can tell it's been simmering or it's been roasting for a while mm. this is a pretty good prime rib i'm I was expecting just a regular buffet prime rib. I think this is better than a buffet prime rib. And I got my lobster through my door. Here's my little, I guess you can say surf and turf. Here's my lobster. Again, it's all you can eat and they give you one at a time, but it's, there's a lot. That lobster, great tasting lobster. And they give you the whole side. So, so far, seafood and prime rib for the win. Just wait when I get the crab legs and the oysters and the shrimp and everything else they have to offer. Starting my first dish with my assortment of Chinese food. Can't go wrong with like fried rice, chow mein, of course the honey walnut shrimp. These are like Great staples, it's good variety. Shrimp. Yeah, very good size shrimp. Let me, let me cut it a little bit. Here we go. Nice and plump. Got that mayonnaise type of uh, glaze on top of that shrimp. And you know that the walnuts are candy, so you know they're gonna be good. Try it and try it out, baby. They didn't look candy to me. Oh, they're not candy? I don't know. Try it out. And tell bit, me. Huh? They are. Oh, they are candy. Okay. Yeah, they're candied walnuts. So that matches with their shrimp perfectly. Uh, the egg, I'm not sorry, the egg, but the eggplant and tofu. That's another great side dish. In fact, you know, sometimes when uh, when I'm at Panda Express, I always look for it because I, you know, I like it. The eggplant and the, the tofu do match well. Yeah, a lot of flavor. It looks kind of bland just looking at it, but it's not. A lot of great eggplant and whatever type of sauce that they cook the tofu in, a little bit soy saucy. It's really good. And of course, anything fried, like the egg rolls, stock, the you know, pot stickers. They put a little bit of a sweet sauce on it, have they? Mm. That's good. Wow. Yeah. And how about the, right there, baby, the sumai. Oh, the sumai? Let's talk about the sumai. Just give it a cut. Should be like uh, pork, or pork or shrimp sumai. Good. Yeah, not dried up. Nice and moist. How's it? How's it for buffet food? Look, the the or well, shoe by is very good for a buffet. But if it came around on a dim sum cart, I would I wouldn't think twice about it. And this is the agao. Nice piece of shrimp inside. Yep. I'm gonna polish this plate off and see what we have for round number two. They have a seafood paella. Now this seafood paella is packed with seafood. I got a clam, I got a, a crab claw, some sausage, maybe some sort of kibasso or andouille sausage, and the rice. Let's try out first the rice. Mm. That rice is full of flavor. The rice is perfectly cooked. I'm gonna taste the spices that you would normally get in a paella. I'm gonna try out this clam right here. Yes, thank you. Here's the clam. Mm, nice and juicy. That clam has all the spices in there. The mussels. The same. This is great flavors. And 
Some sausage. Mm -hmm. What a great seafood paella, and there's no short of any seafood in there. And right next to the paella, they had some smoked salmon. Saw the big piece of salmon on top. I'm gonna try out that smoked salmon. Cold. It reminds me more of a cold steamed salmon than a smoked salmon. It doesn't have that smoky flavor, but the salmon has a great taste to it. That's delicious. A little bit dry. So I'm going to use my lime, squeeze a little bit of lime on it. I know it's going to be perfect. Look at all these glorious oysters. Now I know. You know my New Orleans oysters, but since I'm not there yet, I got to try it out. Let's see. Let's pick some good ones here. This one. Let's do one more. Let's do this one. Right here. Got my oysters going on. Let's get, get the lemon. Here we go. They just restocked it. Yep, he brought out some fresh crab legs. Let's do this one. It kind of looks like a Freddy Krueger. Hi, huh, baby. Oh, his claws? Yeah, yeah. Freddy Krueger claws. Yeah, they do. I like it. Like crab claws. Yep. We're going to go ahead and get some drawn butter, which is on the side. That should be good. And some shrimp. Get some shrimp. One more. Two more. Here we go. Whoa, this is filling up again. Look at that. Yeah. It's no, no shortage of crabs for sure. And I'm going to add some, some green muscle. Sauce. You want any green muscle though? Nah. But I'll get some cut sauce. Okay. I'm set. I didn't dress up my oysters because I'm going to just do it with the cocktail sauce. Let's go. Oh, lobster, please. Hey, yes. All right. Oh, cool. There it is, my man. All right, perfect. Thank you. Oh, the lobster. Yeah, I'm going to give you a slice of prime rib now. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. Hey, let's ask you this. Oh yeah, look at that. That's good bits that. and pieces in there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Thank you. There we go. Your lobster looks so good. I have to get one too. The lobster thermidor. I'm not really sure what a thermidor is, but it looks like a good lobster tail. Look at that. What is a the thermidor? Um, they put it with like cheese and stuff. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm tasting. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping for the actual, just a true lobster tail type of meat to it, but it's a little bit softer with other things mixed in. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, we wanted the true lobster, huh? Yeah, true lobster. Okay. Let's try out this prime rib. Uh, you could ask what size cut you want, or even the temperature of it. But uh, the way it came looks like a medium. It's fine with me. Yeah, lobster. I'm a lobster. The prime rib, full of flavor. It's really good. The au jus is a little bit on the salty side, so just be warned that if you pour a lot, it, it could salty it up a little bit. The prime rib itself, good flavor, very tender. Yep, it's definitely better than your typical buffet prime rib. So if you're really into prime rib, you could 
get a big cut. Like I see the next table over, he has about an inch thick cut of prime rib. So he's definitely going to town on that one. Try out my seafood. Hit this up with a little bit of lemon there. A little bit of cocktail sauce. I'm not doing anything spicy this time. There you go. Make sure it's loosened up. Make sure it's nice and loose in here. There you go. <laughs> Here's our, my bite. That cocktail sauce is a little bit sweet. Which is interesting. Very clean tasting oyster. Good oyster taste. You can tell these are pretty fresh. Of course you want, if it's raw, you, but of course you want it to be a fresh oyster. A little membrane here. That's insane. Okay. Yes, baby. <laughs> Quiet, Nico, don't encourage him. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Got the shell. It's a fresh tasting oyster. That can hold me over until we get to New Orleans. That's pretty good. This is a good size shrimpy. Dip it into my katia sauce. Again, it's cold. Mm. That's a good shrimp. It's actually a little bit sweet. Which is really nice. I always expect the frozen shift to be a little bit more bland. This isn't bland at all. It really doesn't need the sauce because it has full, it's full of flavor. But that sauce is a little bit on the sweet side. Matching with that shrimp, perfect. Looks really good. Um, my Freddy Krueger. My Freddy Krueger crab. Let's go ahead. Take this piece off. Love the knuckle. Who doesn't like the, oh, not the knuckle part. Oh yeah, it's kind of like the knuckle part. That's always the best part there. I'm gonna open this up. Take that portion out. Crack it open inside. Come on, little meaty. I know you're in there. Oh, oh, look, it's so cute. Where's this mama? There you go. Hey, I got a piece. Oh, that's good. Mm, that's good flavor to it. A little bit on the salty, briny side of it. I'm gonna, eventually, if I get a good piece out, I'm gonna dip it into my drawn butter. It's, it's yum. So I'm trying to get a big piece of meat in these crab legs. Can't get a big piece of meat. They're kind of they're kind of skimpy, but they're good. But kind of skimpy. So we're gonna dust these crab legs off and see what other seafood they have here. First time I went through the sushi area, there was a whole bunch of real selections, but now the pickings are slim. I don't know how often they're gonna replenish it, but there was a lot of cream cheese rolls there, and uh, I don't know. We we've always passed those up. So we have one type of shrimp roll in here. Really not sure what else. I think that might be avocado or cucumber. And for the sashimi, it's just the uh, the maguro, which is just the tuna. They ran out of uh, salmon. Again, I don't know how often they replace it or if they do it all. But when I just got this, there was a whole bunch of tuna there. So let's try it out. A lot of people were getting these tunas, so i um, curious to see how it is, if I could pick it up. Here we go. Take a little bath in the soy sauce. It's just average. I think it lost a lot of uh, fresh tuna type of flavor to it. It's missing. And um, it's definitely been previously frozen because it has that defrosted taste to it. But it does have some tuna flavor. So, if you're just looking for a milder sashimi, it might be okay. Let's see how this roll is. Again, a little soy sauce. The roll, first thing it reminds me of, is like supermarket sushi. It just kind of made in this huge mass production. 
Uh, the rice was a little bit chewy, same with the nori, which is wrapped around it. With a little bit of shrimp that was in there, it was good. But it seems like all the shrimp here is nice and plump and juicy, and it's good. So they probably use the shrimp uh, for a lot of different dishes. So at least the base shrimp is very good. But as far as the sashimi and the rolls, yeah. if you're not too much uh, into it, I'd probably skip over it. So just as soon as we came back, they did bring out more salmon, salmon right? So I'm going to try that out. And the salmon actually looks a, a better. Just in case you want to share it, baby. Better tuna, yeah. And I get, this is like a, a poke. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Any of these rolls, babe? No, they weren't no, that good. good. No, that passed out. Okay, let's go on. So my plate, I have a little bit of the salmon and it's matched with Brussels sprouts. I have this veggie here, which is a broccolini that's mashed with cauliflower. This is the calbi. Here is the bone marrow with some sort of pesto sauce. And then I got that salmon and with that poke. So first of all, I'm gonna try out this bone marrow. Let's see if I can get some of this off, the marrow portion of it. Again, this is like beef butter. Couldn't get too much of that marrow out. It's more of the bone than the marrow. Pasta sauce is good, but couldn't get that the bone marrow. Maybe it's a good thing. It's very, very much, it's, uh, it's fat. Let's get this calbi. Good looking piece of calbi. Oh, it's just a Korean marinated short Korean, rib. Yep, Korean marinated short rib. has that sweet sauce to it. Good meat. It's a really good short rib. Typically cooked. It's juicy, not dry. Um, that sauce is on point. It's a little bit sweet. You can tell there's a little bit more of um, citrus in there as well. Mm -hmm. Typically there's a lot of garlic mm -hmm. and uh, it's a oil. good short rib. And this Brussels sprout that was along with the salmon. Good looking Brussels sprout. Mmm. It's sweet. You can tell the parboiled. The sauce they have with it is sweet. And the salmon. Salmon's a little bit dry. But I can go back and get some more Brussels sprouts. Thinking about bringing your kids here, wondering what they're gonna eat? I know, but need to go with this hat on. Okay. Here we go. Chicken nugget or chicken strip, mac and cheese, and a, their pepperoni pizza. You know, I always have to try out the buffet pizza and see how it is. Here we go, they just brought this out, so it's not gonna get any better than this. It's okay. It kind of reminds me of a frozen pizza, but you took it out of the oven maybe about a minute too soon, and the bottom is a little bit floppy. You can see. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of a frozen pizza. You know, there's some of them I like, like the uh, DiGiorno stuffed crust. I like that, but yeah, it's okay. Mac and cheese. Try this out again. They just brought out this uh, whole tray of mac and cheese. So this is the best as it's gonna get right here. It's not very cheesy. It is mild, mild on the cheese, but the noodles are cooked well. Again, this is okay too. Uh, the chicken strip. This one might be the best out of the three. It is nice and crunchy on the batter. Seasoned, almost like a fried chicken type of seasoning on it. And it's nice and moist on the inside. Uh, white meat chicken. 
Yeah. That's good. Yeah, so chicken strips? Fine. Good. That's it, that's it. Thank you. This is the Cold Stone style cookies and cream. They have like a strawberry, vanilla, or chocolate and all the different type of toppings. But I'm keeping it simple. We just crushed Oreos and vanilla ice cream. Let's try it out. Cold. It's cold and it's delicious. This is uh, one of the best things I've had over here. Well, the prime is really good too, but yeah. Great cookies and cream. This is the crepe that you saw them making. I got it with a banana, strawberry, and Nutella with fresh whipped cream on top. Let's cut it open. See what she looks like. Here we go right there. Nice Nutella, strawberry, and a banana somewhere. It's on the side. Let's just get a piece ready. Put a little bit of fresh whip on here. Oh, there we go. Look at that bite. This is like a time at brunch. The last time we were here, they had a fresh crepe station. You cannot go wrong with fresh crepes. This is just as delicious as that cookies and cream. Strawberries fresh, great taste on that banana. And of course, anything with Nutella in it, you just cannot go wrong. Yeah. a great way to end my buffet dinner. Hi guys, it's got straight up vanilla ice cream. It's vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, a churro, and some uh, rice pudding, rice cake, rice pudding. So I'm gonna try out this churro. I'm gonna dip it in my vanilla ice cream. Mm. Fancy, sweet, cooked perfectly. That's a good chido. I think there's like cream cheese in there. That's yum. Just put it in the strawberry ice cream. Is it just like cream cheese or like icing or something? It tastes like. Right now, it's a strawberry. Cream cheese. It's like on the top of the churro. But it tastes really good. The strawberry. Mm -hmm. That's yummy with the strawberry. And the churro, the crunchiness and the sweetness, strawberry. That is a wrap for Cafe Sierra Buffet. That was good. A very good uh, prime rib, very good seafood. Is it worth the 75 bucks though? Oh, you know what? For me, I I think it's missing its price point. I think it's a little bit yeah. too expensive. It is. Um, if it was like 55? Maybe, I'd yeah. say 55. Yeah, but the seafood was very good. It was a miss on the sashimi. 
yeah. a lot of raw fish. And a lot of it was average. Yeah. But considering this is the only buffet that I know of in Los Angeles. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. But it only happens on Saturday night only. Yeah, Saturday night is the dinner buffet only. Mm -hmm. Sunday morning, afternoon, it is their brunch buffet. We did that like four months ago again. Yeah, right. So they only have that only on the weekends. Yeah, so you know, if you're in LA and you're looking for a buffet, yeah, you might have to eat the extra costs and, and have it here. It's, you know? uh, it was pretty good though. It was yeah. pretty good. Not worth the seventy five dollars, but then again, we don't do this right. every week, so. Right. Yeah. Oh, shout outs, babe. Yes, I do. I have two. I have Aiden and Timothy Lee. Happy, happy birthday. And Daniel St. Pierre. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. All right. Everybody, what are we doing? Are we doing anything? We don't know. <laughs> we'll see where we're going next week. Yeah, we yeah. Big question mark. Yeah, it so, is. So uh, until then, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.